Welcome to another Mickey's Roundtable Morning Report. The buzz from the bees is that the leopards are in a bit of a spot, and the baboons are going ape over this. Of course, the giraffes are acting like they're above it all. The tick birds are pecking on the elephants. I told the elephants to forget it, but they can't. The cheetahs are hard up, but as I always say, cheetahs never prosper. Okay, that's not a real morning report. Uh, that's from the animated classic Disney film, The Lion King. Uh, since 2023 is the 100th anniversary of the Walt Disney Company, they've been re-releasing classic Disney films over the course of this past summer and into fall, including The Lion King. Uh, so last week I took the opportunity to go see The Lion King, but before I did that, I had myself a Lion King adventure over at Animal Kingdom. I was gonna try and rope drop the park, but uh, I was running a little bit late, and so the park was already open when I got there. But that was okay, I was still there early. And early in the morning is the best time to do the activity, the attraction that I wanted to do. I headed straight over to the Africa area and the Kilimanjaro safaris. I think uh, early in the morning and in the evening because the weather's cooler, the animals are more active. Kilimanjaro safaris is a very cool attraction. Now, apparently the story is that when Walt Disney was planning Disneyland out in California back in the mid 1950s, he wanted to use real animals on the Jungle Cruise. Well, that just wasn't practical in any way, shape, manner, or form. So when they started designing and coming up with ideas for the Animal Kingdom theme park, where they had lots and lots of space, uh, they decided they would include an attraction with real live animals. It's cool because uh, you load yourself up into a truck and you head out into the safari. The only, actually, I think it's the only downside of that whole attraction that I, the, the road is really, really, really bumpy. Uh, and it should be a little bit bumpy because you are going out into the safari, but it's kind of really bumpy uh, for if you're trying to shoot pictures and take video and all of that stuff. But uh, other than that, it is really cool. You get a driver that is knowledgeable about all of the animals and what you're going to see. They don't tell jokes, but they give, do give you lots of good facts. Unless you get a really good driver, uh, some of them are able to slip some subtle humor in there. And if you get one of those, <laughs> you're, you're, yeah, you're really, you're living the life. Some of the animals are a little bit difficult to see. They'll be back in the trees a little bit, more hidden. And other animals, uh, I guarantee you, you're gonna see some giraffes. You go out across the savanna area and you will see giraffes out there. Sometimes they're really close, sometimes there's a whole bunch. We had one, uh, we had to stop the truck because they crossed right in front of us and uh, yeah, the animals have the right of way. As I was saying, the animals are usually more active, again, earlier in the morning or later in the evening when the weather's gonna be cooler. I have never, ever uh, went on the Kilimanjaro Safari, gotten a really good view of the lions. You do get to go by lions, and since it was a Lion King Adventure Day, yeah, I really wanted to see them. Usually they're up on the rocks in the uh, exhibit area, but you can't see them very well. This time, oh yeah, there was a male lion and he was walking across and he was, yeah. Uh, lions spend like 90% of their day sleeping, something like that. They mostly are up in the middle of the night. So to see them up and about in the daytime was, uh, was really, really cool. It's also very likely that you will see elephants. Uh, they're off in the distance a little ways, uh, but I don't think I'd want to get too close to an elephant. But that's very cool. And one of the one of the neat uh, little Easter eggs that's there on the Kilimanjaro safaris, uh, you're going past some uh, where the elephants like to hang out, and you go around. There's like a little island, and there's some flamingos that, that like to hang out there, and. You can kind of see it from in the truck. Go to the Google Earth or satellite image, uh, Google Maps or something like that, and uh, it's a hidden Mickey. The island is shaped like Mickey Mouse where these uh, flamingos hang out. So that's a, that's a neat little Easter egg. Of course, the idea is that when I am out and about on these adventures, I go to see the movie or I plan on seeing the movie after I go on the adventure, one or the other, and the attractions and the shows and whatever I go and do on that particular day ties into the movie. And you're probably saying to yourself, well, yeah, sure, The Lion King takes place in Africa. 
and there's animals, but there's nothing really, really specific that ties Kilimanjaro safaris into the Lion King. Ha, ha you're wrong. Well, I got lucky. Uh, I was on the truck, they announced over the PA, they said, uh, in case you're wondering, uh, you've been riding on symbol one. How cool is that, that the day that I'm doing my Lion King video adventure uh, is the day that I get to ride with symbol one. So that was really cool. Yeah. As you exit the Kilimanjaro Safaris, there's the uh, trails area there. You can see some more animals. I wasn't going to do that on this particular adventure. I had uh, bigger plans. The Africa area of Animal Kingdom is the fictional African town of Harambe. And in Harambe is the Harambe Theater. And what is playing at that theater? Uh, the Festival of the Lion King. A show dedicated specifically to the Lion King. So I thought I got lucky getting to ride in the Simba One truck. Uh, my luck was not done for the day. They have going around Discovery Island, there's like a little waterway there, and there will be pontoon boats will come by periodically with various Disney characters. While I was waiting for the Festival of the Lion King, along comes, you guessed it, uh, I think you did anyway, uh, Rafiki. Rafiki was out there doing his thing. The other thing that I noticed while I was waiting out there, kind of a side note going off on a little tangent here, but uh, I noticed they had a Harambee flag. Uh, very well done, very good detail to add for uh, for that area of the park, Disney, uh, although they kind of messed up a little bit. Anyway, I digress. I like to digress. You did really, really well. You almost nailed it, but not quite. Uh, where you did nail it, though, is the Festival of the Lion King. It is one of, if not the very best show I have ever seen at any Disney theme park. It is a live production live show it's not animatronics it's not uh movie screens it's it's uh live performers my name is Kiyume, and i am the leader of the and they take out uh i believe they're puppets uh they're not animatronics i'm pretty sure of that but there's live puppets of various characters there's four different animals there's uh pumba the warthog there's a lion area with which is simba there's a giraffe and an elephant, and then each section of the theater uh, has to make the sound of that particular animal at different times during the show. So there's audience participation and interaction. And imitation. All right, pause, ready, and let's hear that roar. Roar! Yeah. You all get the idea. On the count of three, I want to hear some lions. One, two, three. Roar! There's, of course, uh, singing and vocal performances uh, because there are so many just fantastic songs from the Lion King movie. There's acrobats. Aerialists. The very best part to top it all off. It is such a good show. And then to top it all off, there's fire. They actually light the stage on fire. Uh, it is it is a fun, fun show, and you could probably see it every day of the week and not get bored with it. It is really, really good. And uh, again, because of that Lion King music, it's fantastic. And the end, there's this big, big number of uh, everybody singing and dancing and then kids get to come out and parade around with all of the all of the performers dressed up with different animals. Oh, <laughs> 
specifically themed to the Lion King or with Lion King theming is Rafiki's Planet Watch. This is kind of a neat area. It's all about education and conservation of animals and plants and all of the all of the stuff that the Animal Kingdom theme park is geared towards. And in order to get to Rafiki's Planet Watch, you get to take the Wildlife Express. There's two stops, Harambe, the African village in Animal Kingdom, and then Rafiki's Plant Watch over on the other side. Uh, there's a petting zoo, there's displays on how they take care of the animals. If you time it right, or if you go, they, they announce the times where they'll do uh, animal care and veterinary care for animals, and you can actually watch some of that stuff. One of the neat things that I may be gonna do is they've got uh, an animation drawing class kind of a kind of a thing and they give you a pencil and they give you paper and there's an artist and they show you how to draw different yeah. disney animated characters uh when i got there they were doing one of the hyenas from the lion king i'd done it once before and that was the character that i got to draw and i thought okay let me hang around for the next session and maybe i can draw the uh, hyena again from the lion king and then i saw the sign that showed what the next character was going to be it was going to be bruce the shark from finding nemo and that, that wasn't lion king related so i uh, decided to vamoose and head back to harambe on the train uh and grab something to eat i always go to uh in africa anyway uh, i'll go to the harambe market uh it's kind of it's outdoor it's neat there's a cool view of the train as it goes by Ooh uh, i like trains but uh yeah that was so that was my lion king day it was pretty good so from there then of course i headed over to disney springs and uh watched the lion king on the big screen <sighs> movies are some movies are really made for the big screen lion king is one of them so uh that's that's going to be my last uh, 100th anniversary movie uh, adventure that I'll do. Uh, Moana is yet to come out. It will be coming out soon, but I already did my Moana video because I got to do the preview for the Journey of Water, which I, I believe is just soft open. So you can get into there uh, without having a special preview. So that's it from Mickey's Roundtable for this Lion King adventure. Ha! Cheetahs never prosper. <laughs>